It's Vlogmas Day 21, and I have another box to open for you. Hey friends, welcome back to my sewing room. My name is Becca, and if you enjoy what you're seeing here, hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell off to the right of it. In today's video, we're going to do another unboxing. We're going to take a look at the Project Sweetwater box. This is a quarterly subscription box that is curated by Sweetwater Fabrics. It cost about $45, and I think that includes your shipping and handling, and it is project-focused. I can't wait to see what we have in the December 2021 box from them. Let's dive in and see what we have. Here is your sneak peek. Let's go through each of the items one at a time. Right on top, we have a little bit of documentation. It tells us some information about this box. It looks like they're featuring their timber fabric. And then the next box, which will come out, I think like March timeframe, is going to feature their new fabric line, Flirt. Take a look. This is what Flirt looks like. So if you are interested in signing up for it, I'll put a link in the description box below that you can use to hop over and secure your membership so that when the next box is shipped, you can get some of that gorgeous fabric. Ooh, right on top we have a little tagged envelope. I love these. I get the tagged club. If you don't know what that is, they're basically labels that are custom printed with your name on it from Sweetwater. You get at least one label every month. They're a little bit pricey, but the labels are, oh my goodness, beyond comparison to anything else. Let's look and see what we have in this one. By the way, I'm not expecting this one to be customized because I'm just not. Here are the labels that we have. There are actually four, and they are done in that kind of green, black, and yellow color theme that you see with the timber fabric line. I'm sure somebody's going to ask, so let me tell you this right now. The labels do have glue on the back, so you can adhere them to your quilts with a little bit of heat. Uh, they do feel really good, by the way, in your hand, and I can't really explain that to you other than to tell you they feel like a good quality label. When I put these on my quilt, I usually heat them, iron them onto the quilt backing, and then I just do a quick edge stitch around the perimeter of the label, and it holds up beautifully. We have a little package of buttons. Taking a look down here, we're gonna open those up. I lied, they're not buttons. They look like buttons, they're candies. I don't know what kind of candies they are. Ginger candies? I don't know. It looks like Lifesavers, but I don't know what flavor. So we have two hard candies. One of the things that I really enjoy about the Sweetwater Project Box is this little idea book that they give you. It's basically a little booklet that gives you a bunch of different projects that you can make using the fabric from this month's box. And of course, if you want to make it using something else, you can. There are multiple things in here. Take a look. This is what the pamphlet looks like. It's a really nice little kind of jacket. And then on the inside, you have three project sheets. I don't want to show you all of the details because that would be giving away the pattern for free. So I folded each of these pieces of paper in half so that you can kind of only see the top half. I do want to show you though the pictures in the upper right hand corner of my paper because that's what the project's gonna make. The first one is a timber tote bag. It looks like you'd, you, you could uh, use this for a lunch pail. The second one is for this really pretty pillow. You're gonna use a panel on the front and some squares on the back. And then the third one is for this little mini quilt that I believe you're going to use a panel and maybe some charms for as well. So three projects and one little idea book. And to go with this, they give you the fabric that you're going to need to put that stuff together. Let's take a look. The first item that we have is a full charm pack for the Timberline by Sweetwater. This is a beautiful charm pack that ranges in blacks and grays. It's got some greens in there, some creams, and some rust or some goldenrod yellow. There is none of that traditional red that Sweetwater usually puts into their lines, um, and I don't actually mind it. It looks really nice. To go with this charm pack, we've got a little package of some yardage. Let's take a look. We have a panel that gives us all of those focal prints from the projects. You can see we've got the pillow here, but we also have all of the pieces that are needed to do like the mini quilt and the pack tote, the lunch bag tote. It's all kind of put together in this really nice canvas panel. I'm trying to open it up so you can see it. 
there is a lot of stuff on this panel. Sweetwater panels are really nice. They're big. They're not just a typical 36 inches. A lot of times they're a lot bigger than that. And they have lots of big pieces and some little ones that you can cut apart for your projects. This is something I'm really excited about. I can't wait to dive in and start working on the projects for this quarter's projects. I don't know how else to say that. I am actually really excited about this tote. I think that's really cute. I thought it was going to be a lunch bag, but I don't think so. Maybe it's not. I'm not even sure that the top is going to be like a zipper closure, but you know what? Here's the nice thing about it. Whenever you're building out the tote, you could always put some insole right down in there instead of just quilt batting. And if you wanted to add a recess zipper, you certainly could. But just by putting that insole bright in there, that might make it more of like a lunch box style bag. So if you're looking for something to keep your lunch warm or cool for just a couple hours, you might still be able to use this. I'm not sure what I'm going to make first, but I do know I'm going to make these projects. I realized as I was flipping through the charm pack, you couldn't really see all of the different fabrics that are in the timber line. So what I'm doing right now is putting on the screen in front of you an image that shows all of the prints that are in the timber line from Sweetwater Fabrics so that if you want to pick some of this up for yourself, you can do so. All right, so we got a big panel, three patterns, a charm pack, and some custom labels in the timber colors. Very fun. It's time for our advents and for day 21 from Missouri Start, we actually have a box to open. But before we do that, let's flash back to 2018 and see what Jenny threw in her Jenny's Favorite Things in 2018. Oh, super cute. We have got a pair of dangly scissor earrings. We had a pair of dangly earrings that were scissors. Super cute. I liked getting those. But I'm allergic to nickel, so I actually didn't wear them because I didn't know if they would cause me to break out. But I loved getting them, and they made a beautiful gift for a quilty friend. All right, let's see what we have in day 21. Definitely a bigger package. Maybe better? Maybe not. Let's find out. It sounds like it might be a puzzle or something. There we go. Yep, I was right. It's a puzzle. Not really a big puzzle fan, to be honest with you. I'm guessing this is what the puzzle is going to end up being, is this beautiful picture. I, I do enjoy the picture. I just am not a big puzzle fan. I'm not sure how many pieces are in here. I don't know much about any of this. But here's the thing that I do know. In the comments down below this video, I'm going to put a link to the Missouri Star videos that they do every day, telling you about the items that are in this year's advent box and you can let Jenny tell you all about this puzzle herself. I'm still behind on my Katrinkles blocks and maybe I'll get a chance to work on them tonight and get caught up but as of the recording of this video I don't have those other two blocks done but I do want to open the template for today and see what we have so let's take a look. Hmm, interesting. I have two of the little pattern cards in here. Oh my goodness these just keep getting tinier and tinier. We have a three quarters inch square template from Katrinkles. Take a look at it in my hand. Isn't it super tiny? And we have our card that tells us what our block is going to look like this month. It's a 16 patch, which is just basically like a nine patch with an extra row and an extra column. And this template is going to make it a lot of fun to fussy cut all of those pieces. I can't wait to get started but it's gonna have to wait until maybe a little bit later today. So I'll toss this aside, and hopefully when you come back tomorrow, I will be all caught up with my Katrinkles blocks. Hey guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I'm enjoying my time making these videos for you, and I hope you're enjoying watching them. Advent season is almost over, and I have some lovely plans to continue the content in 2022. So if you wanna go on that journey with me, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and you ring the bell to the right of it to receive notifications. That's everything for Vlogmas Day 21. Come on back tomorrow for Day 22. Bye!